here I'm testing out an 809834 based direct digital synthesizer and I uh, have a Heathkit frequency counter here as you can see it's mounted on a uh, little uh, spark fun board here a breakout board to make uh, surface mount uh, development easier I have a uh, LCD screen here. It uh, unplugs. It's just a basic uh, 8 by one character LCD. But it is uh, 3.3, uh, the 3.3 volt version, because the 5 volt version was out of stock. So I had to use a regulator integrated circuit and voltage divide the logic levels to bring them from 5 volts down to 3.3. Down here is an Atmega AT, uh, Atmega 328, and uh, this has the firmware that controls the uh, the DDS. We have our buttons for controlling frequency, and of course our rotary encoder. I think I may have a damaged uh, chip here because it outputs very low level. It's uh, only output a few millivolts, and I I'm sure it's supposed to be more than that. And I I could have damaged it somehow. I'm not sure. So uh, I think I'm going to replace it and uh, additionally build an amplifier to get more output for driving things like boat anchors as a frequency reference. Okay, look up the power. See, we uh, started out at uh, 7 megahertz. You can turn the uh, rotary encoder and uh, it will change. If I turn it quickly, it will automatically move at a faster rate. And if I press these buttons up here, it will step in one megahertz increment. So I can move relatively quickly through the uh, band spectrum. I do have the uh, DDS chip overclocked from uh, its normal 75 megahertz to 80 megahertz gives me an effective range of 0 hertz up to uh, 40 megahertz although the sine wave degrades as it goes higher so I try to keep it lower than that if I really need it uh, for anything critical See, now we're down to 80 hertz. And, uh, back up to 1 megahertz. So it's, uh, pretty versatile. And, uh, once I get it working properly, I should be able to use it with some of the older, uh, older amateur gear as a frequency reference or as a standalone signal generator so uh, it's pretty versatile and it's not that hard to work with so uh, anyway thanks for watching <laughs>